He's been down there, and uh, we were talking to DSU with a talk to one dean, and he's setting up some meetings with some professors about uh, educational and uh, research use of the Treatville Boat Ramp and River Park area. Good, and in that River Park area, I think I mentioned earlier, an addition of some 70 plus more acres to that effort. Um, and v I think VSU will be instrumental in kind of, um, I don't know, surveying the lay of the land before they... Uh, the county is actually doing an actual survey at the moment, according to Bill Slaughter, the chairman. Uh, they're having a pause because the, with the coochies up so much, they can't actually get to that edge, but sure. it goes back down. But there's all sorts of things that uh, professors could do. Um, there needs to be some archaeology. I'm told by the vice chief of the Cherokee tribe of Georgia there was probably never any uh, permanent village on a place like that in the floodplain, but there were probably uh, seasonal campsites following the game. So there's probably that. Of course, when Troopville picked up and moved all the buildings to Valdosta, they cannot have gotten every nail and every horseshoe. There's got to be something there to find. That would be neat to document. Mm -hmm. It really will. All right, so big plans coming from <clears throat> that Troopville boat ramp in that area. Something that will benefit this whole community, surrounding communities, eco-tourism, and, and more. And as we start out on this paddle, uh, we're going to go right by this area that we're talking about. 